Hi everybody, I'm Zell Blitz and welcome to episode two on our adventures with SnowRunners hard mode. Today we're going to do some exploring. So we're going to jump up here to the pickup truck. My general thought is we want to go up here and try to explore this watchtower, unlock it, which we know is then going to unlock the scout where the scout is because we know that's up in here from our previous game. We want to try to get that scout unlocked as quickly as possible with the thinking is that if in our explorations we rack up the Chevrolet so it's in a place where we can't get it stuck and get it out, we can't get it out of, we could bring the scout and try to pull it out. That might be a little bit optimistic thinking, but we'll see. Because I, I think that what we want to try to do here is to avoid a lot of our kind of high costs and stuff like that in the game. And we would do that, of course, by having to recover a lot, having to fix things a lot. So not off to a good start here. Let's go, truck. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. All right, so we're going to get going here. And we are going to head to town and see if we can get... I think we need gas. We're gonna go right through town first here. So, oops, I was convinced I wasn't gonna do that anymore, but I'm still beeping the horn there. Anyway, off we go. We'll see you as we get to the town. All right, so here we are in the town now. Now I wanna to try to pick up as many missions as we can and find all the things that we can. We are currently level two. I'm wondering if we could perhaps even end this episode at level three. And I know down here somewhere, there is a trailer. You can see it on the map over here somewhere that's the flatbed trailer yeah so I think we can discover this and it's got stuff on it right get closer nice oh stuff good flatbed trailer 30 experience points we'll take it it's back up now back on the road and I think so I've been thinking a little bit and getting some tips here one of the things I think we want to do with this is we want to avoid driving empty as much as possible now with the pickup truck of course that doesn't really matter because we're kind of exploring and stuff like that. But when we have our other trucks, we want to have jobs lined up so that we're not kind of doing one-way jobs, I think. My general thinking is the more we can keep the trucks running with cargo in them, the less gas we'll be wasting and the better off we'll be. So that's kind of a rough plan with that. Now we did get a nice tip um, that was talking about uh, a poster tip that we can actually use exact amount of liters we can get in this map that are already available in tankers that are lying around. So that could be really helpful for us here too. So thank you for that tip. Because I thought I had it in my head that for this, you had to, now I know there's a job over here. Let's go get it first. <clears throat> um, I know that in the game, I think this is a trailer we can discover as well. I have to go over here, new trailer discovered, sideboard trailer loaded with stuff. So like that, when we bring a truck up, we can grab that there. And I think there's a job over here we want to grab. That'll get us a little bit of experience too. And it also help us start to think about how we can plan out our routes. Show task, accept it, excellent. So that's missing machinery. Okay, no worries. Let's come over here now. We'll get the hotel one on the way back. We're just trying to pick up and discover everything that we can. But I thought, kind of going back to that original point, I thought in the game that if you had trailers that were mission dependent like a specific trailer that you had to take for a specific mission that in that case you couldn't siphon the gas out of it a tanker but apparently um, you can you can get it down to 10 percent or so so we want to come over here and pick up this job as well to pick up random jobs exit accept it good that's the rock slide ahead which we knew it's the one that's up ahead straight ahead here now we're going to start to be a little bit careful here as we get here i I thought at some point we got better tires for this truck, but I don't remember where we got them. I know we got them on the first map. Oh, there's another job over here. Let's pick that up. I know we got X show task, accept stuck trailer. All right, I'll take that. I do know, I know that somewhere up here, we got better tires for this truck. And I'm wondering if it was before or after we went to this spot. I guess we'll find out. It would suck to get stuck right now. That would be a real bummer. But I, I'm feeling, for whatever reason, I'm feeling like with winches and stuff like that, that can make it to, at least to this, careful, right here. There's no place to winch it here. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't get stuck. There's nothing to winch it to here. Don't get stuck. Stay on this high spot. Excellent. Looking good, looking good. We got this. I feel like this one of the things about hard mode here is that like in, in in the regular game, if you're going someplace and you get stuck, it's no big deal. You can get a free, here we go. Watchtower explored. Opened up. Nice. 
So that's going to give us a few more things. I, I feel like in the um, the base game, you know, there's no risk really to exploration, right? Because, oh, can we make it over that? <sighs> this is it, right? Because I feel like in the base game, there's no risk here to getting stuck. Whereas in this game, if you get stuck, you're totally hosed. I think we can make this. I feel like we did this before. And I feel like we can winch it onto something now, too. Okay, we're doing okay here. This is where we got stuck, I remember, in the first game. Dangerous water level. Let's winch, 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 winch. How do we use the winch again? Oops. Winch, 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 winch. Attach winch. There, there. That's not where I wanted to go. Ah, come on, go, 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 go. Attach the winch. There. And there. The winch. Now we're getting out of here. All right. Get the all-wheel drive on. Release winch. Good. Perfect. Now, I think we did a shortcut here. We went this way before. If I remember right, to get to the scout truck. So we'll do that. But yeah, there's a whole different level of risk when you realize that if you get irrevocably stuck, you have to use the... You have to pay money to get yourself recovered here. Because I think that was the big thing that would have cost us a lot of money here the first time. Is because oh, we got stuck a lot. I know even off camera, I was constantly having to recover the trucks. And we can't do that in this mode. If we do it, we got to try to send the truck there. Is it that way I wanted to turn? I think we went up here and down, right? I'll just check the map real quick. Uh, that's the road. I kind of actually like this way better. So let's put a marker down here. There. There. This felt actually much easier. Then we're going up here to this scout right there. Alrighty, that should be good. So we'll see you as we get a little bit closer, unless something extraordinarily interesting happens. Bang, all right, we're approaching our scout truck. Should be nice, that'll give us a second scout vehicle. Worst case scenario, we can try to rescue this one with the scout truck. There we go, Oops, stop, stop, good. 100 experience points. For the moment, I think we're gonna leave that there. Now, we could try to go to that new area, but let's not do that. Let's see what we've got unexplored here. So we wanna go pick up this Riverside repair job. So we'll kind of wind our way over to that. That's, we could pick up some stuff out here, but the rock slide's in our way coming back. Picked up that. So yeah, let's go get the Riverside repair job. Let's go get our upgrade. Let's go get our upgrade. Let's go get this tower here. I think that's a real good plan for today. On the way back after the Riverside job, we can probably come back down here and get some gas. Actually, we'll have enough gas to make it probably over here. So we'll yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. I think we're 73% gas, that's pretty good. So let's back up, head out of here. And see what we can do. So we'll drive on a little bit as we'll see as we get closer to the Riverside repair there. I'm liking that we got another vehicle. That's a pretty good step forward, I think, for us here. If I remember right, the last time we're up here too, this is this starts to get into that place where we didn't I don't I don't think I wrecked the truck up or anything like that. But I felt like there were like a half dozen count times where I almost wrecked the truck up. So I kinda wanna be careful here. I feel like we're just one move away from flipping this truck over at all times. All right, we made it to this job, the Riverside Repair job. We'll accept that and then head on out, picking up more jobs. I forget what this one was here. It's a muddy spot here. We're going pretty slow. Oh, we're in low gear. That would explain it. Get out of that. There we go. Now it's a little better. Have to remember to pay. Now we don't have any. So one of the things in the previous episode, in the previous series, right? I felt like. When I was playing and I was struggling, I would kind of just I would stay in that, like not having it at all wheel drive and stuff like that for like 20 minutes while I was just really struggling. And then when I would get to the editing portion of the video and look at the video, I would see at the top of the screen all these tutorial hints here that would tell me all those stupid things I wasn't doing and giving me a hint. So it's like, why don't you engage all wheel drive? And I'm like, oh, right, I forgot about that. Um, so, can we make it across here? We got stuck here last time, right? Get out. I think so. I think we're going to be okay. If we go over here, we're okay. Yeah. All right. We got it. Good. Stay up here on the high spot. Stay right here. I do... F and, and so, yeah, one of the things I noticed now with this mode is that the, um, the tutorials are gone. You don't get those anymore. So, 
no helping us if we do make our stupid maneuvers here. Let's stay out of those previous ruts. Whoa, 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 not that way. Backy, sacky, come backy. Over here. Uh-oh. This feels a little bit sluggish, but I guess we're okay. Let's keep going. Okay, that was close, but we eventually get out of there. Nice. Oh, maybe speak too soon here. All right, we got a good little bit of help from the winch here. Now we're almost, we're about half a gas tank left. I wonder if we should go get gas. It might be a smart thing to do. All righty, well, that's progress, good. So if we look at the map now, and we didn't go back and pick up this stuff here, but we'll get that later. Trailer store, we don't need that. We don't need the rock side we got. We got the riverside repair job picked up. So now we're heading back into town. We could go get this upgrade up here and then just follow the mountains along here. But I feel like we should go get fuel. We'll see you as we get closer to gas here, but making good progress so far. I do feel like, so I, I, I'm not good at the game yet, for sure. Um, but I do feel like I've made a lot of improvement in terms of uh, understanding kind of how the terrain, how to read the terrain and what's mucky and what's not mucky, where you're gonna get stuck and stuff like that. So I feel like I've made some decent progress with the game, although, a long way to go before I'm anywhere close to good with it. But we'll see when we get to the, um, the gas station there. Alrighty, we are filled up with gas. So that was about 80 bucks. That's not too bad, I think. And now let's head back over here and get up into these mountains. We'll go one, oops, one, Two, come back here. It's a lot of doubling up, I think, but not too bad, hopefully. Three, four, and probably come back this way. I remember this part past this being a little bit tricky there. Four, and then we'll figure out what to do some way down, maybe, maybe back this way. Five, six, so all right, let's get started here. Don't remember coming this way, but we'll go this way. I feel like it looks okay if we avoid that muck there. Maybe not. Bridge connected. Let's go. Pull this out. There we go. Up over this little hump. Oh, I know what it is. We've got to get all-wheel drive going. There we go. Much better. All right. What we don't want to do is flip the truck over or get it stuck. That's our one goal plus accomplish this mission. I do, I, I mean, I said this a little while ago, but I am liking the added adrenaline rush of the hard mode, for sure. I feel like I, my stomach's a little bit tighter. I feel like the consequences of screwing up are a little bit more. It's a little bit more exciting here to kind of play this way and feel like, okay, if we screw up, we are really screwed up here. So now we're gonna go, oh, we're gonna go get this one first, right? So we're gonna keep going the way we were going. That looks pretty good. All right, so we're not going to turn here. I thought we were turning. We'll come back this way, though. This one might not be that bad. I don't quite remember it being a very bad. I remember the, the ones behind us being kind of hairy in a couple places, picking up some damage and almost flipping the truck over a couple times. But I don't remember this one being so murderously challenging. This feels pretty good so far. Sometimes this game can surprise you, right? It seems pretty easy, and then all of a sudden, whoa, look at that. That's wet. That's like really wet. That's like we're not going to make it through that wet and there's nothing to winch it onto past it wet. Right? There's no way we're getting through that. And that's only that one tree over there and it's not in line to pull it up. I don't like this. This smells bad. This smells really bad. I don't see... Is there a way around it here? Kind of, we still have to end up back in that little pond there. I don't think we can make that. And I know I didn't come that way before. We're gonna give up. We're gonna caution and we're gonna come back this way. We're gonna come back around from that one. I don't think that upgrade was all that important anyway. <laughs> so we'll try this way. We'll see when we get back close to our starting point again. All right, here we go. This way we're going now. Now I remember this being hard and we almost didn't make it a couple of times. 
and we almost flipped over a couple times and we damaged the truck quite a bit. So see if we've improved since we were here last time. Take it slow, kind of weave it through these rocks. This is part after this, I think, where we have a pretty hairy turn here. We're gonna go up some steep parts there. So far, so good. All right, pretty good. Now I think, do we have to turn here somewhere? Yeah, right where the marker is. We've got to turn to the right. Okay, good. So far, so good. It is the same map, right? They don't change the map for hard mode, do they? It's the exact same map, right? I don't remember it quite being like this, but maybe I'm thinking of one of the other routes that we went on. All right, around the corner we go. going up so we get this upgrade I know one of these upgrades was tires too and I think that would be helpful and a more powerful engine that would be helpful too choose up a lot more gas but yeah, sometimes we're probably gonna want that all right here we go what upgrade did we get upgrade obtained raised available current truck whoops whoops stop 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 whoop, stop Nice. Okay, so that is raised up gear, which is good. Raised up wheels, which are good. That will help us, I suppose, in spots like this and in wet terrain, too. All right, mission accomplished. Now let's go for the next one here. We'll just turn the truck around, and then we're going to head down. If I remember right, this one was pretty tricky, too. That actually wasn't too bad. I feel like we handled that one rather, rather comfortably here. We'll keep going. We'll see as we get to new terrain. All right, now here we go. Some bumpy stuff. Oh, this is bumpy. Okay, so far. This is the one I remember. I didn't know where the road went. I think it goes this way. Keep it tight. Good. And this is a steep drop that I think we messed the truck up on last time. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. Uh oh, we're in trouble. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We got this, we got this. Winch it. Release winch. Don't flip over, don't flip over, don't flip over. Stay steady, stay steady. Yes! Okay. <laughs> I thought for sure we were going to flip it over there. I thought for sure we were going to flip it over there, but we didn't. I wonder if I'm going to be a worse driver because I'm going to be more nervous about flipping it over. All right. So far, so good here. Which way do we go? Isn't there a watchtower? Water, watchtower's up here somewhere, right? To the right here? Can't even see what's going on now. This way, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll keep going here. This is picky wheeling. Slow and steady. Right down in this clearing, I think, isn't it? I remember right. There it is. All right. So, providing we don't flip it over, should make this one okay. Nice. All right. Launch observation. Another one done. All right. Now, I didn't think this one last time, and I don't think it unlocked anything interesting, right? Because we had already done this, and the tutorial is not active. So, we have cleared out a lot of spots now. That's pretty good. Let's unmark that. We, oops, nope. It's good. Oof, what, what am I doing? Let's see. What, do we want to go back and try to get this upgrade now by coming up this other way? Or that might be pretty good for today, actually. That feels like we accomplished quite a bit. We unlocked our scout, picked up a bunch of jobs, unlocked a couple of watchtowers. How are we doing on levels and everything? We are 880, so next time we should get level three which would be helpful. 
And I think next time what we might do is, uh, we probably should do some jobs with a truck. Although I'm tempted to try to come, yeah, I think we're gonna wait till we get some more upgrades before we try this watchtower, which we barely made last time. And then this watchtower over here. This one I felt like was pretty easy. Uh, we got these to do over here. Lots to do still. We're doing it all over again, aren't we? Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. If you have enjoyed this, you might also enjoy our latest episode with your truck simulator, where we take some vaccines with our new steering wheel that I'm not using for this. I'm still using the controller with this one. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you've um, uh, see you again next time. Bye bye.